Magic the Best. Next up, it's the gritty reboot of Murder, She Wrote. Only on HBO. I never get used to this. I was dropping off my famous blueberry pie next door when I thought I smelled murder. <laughs> now hold on a minute. We don't know that this is a murder. Dead bodies are like dicks. You see one, you see them all. <laughs> That's some dank ass weed. It's like you could use some, right? What are you doing? Just because you host a true crime podcast doesn't mean you can disrespect my dead husband. It's like a classic case of poisoning to me. What are you? What? what is she? Well, I mean, it could be an accidental overdose, but I really don't think so. Well, now hold on a minute. We won't know anything until the tox results come back. I remember when Cabot Cove, Maine, was a nice place to live. Now it's addiction, despair, antiques around every goddamn corner. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's a big supplier in the Northeast. Doc. Dare I'm a medical doctor. <laughs> doctor, feel good. Give me that bag. Talk screen on me, Doc. Got enough ketamine in my system to kill a horse. <laughs> Speaking of horse, gotta text my dealer to score some H. <laughs> Jess, you're out of control and we've got to get you some help. But right now there's a grieving woman. I've had enough of you. Leave, leave me now. Without me around. I've had about enough of you, Jessica Fletcher! That's <laughs> not what you said last night. <gasps> you! Oh, you said you'd never mention that in public. It was a moment of weakness! You are weak! Uh, I'm the sheriff of this town, and you will respect my authority. Respect your authority? No one respects your goddamn authority. The streets of Cabot Cove run red with blood on your watch. Do you realize we live in a town? Less than 500 people? Somehow we've got more murders per capita than goddamn Chicago! <laughs> You're an incompetent fool and everybody knows it! I'm not an incompetent fool! No, that's it. That's it. Leave my house! Leave me alone, both of you! Oh, I don't think so, Rhonda. I can't leave a sexy, murderous guy to walk alone. <laughs> I did not kill him. Sure, just like I didn't kill my husband, right? <laughs> Admit it, Rhonda, you couldn't take it anymore. Sacrificing your life to feed his ego, and yet he still had to cheat on you. You had to do something wrong. Okay, fine, you I did it! Kill him, right? I did it, I killed him, and he deserved it! And I've never felt more alive! <laughs> Rhonda Johnson. You're under arrest for the murder of Dick Johnson. You have the right to remain silent. May God have mercy on your soul. Burn in hell, Sheriff.